and our special lightning coverage in their quest for the cup. I'm Kevin Lewis. Now, historically, the winner of Game 5 winds up winning a series 79% of the time, so that means the Bolts want to be included in that 21% to knock off a team needing to win a series with a Game 6 victory. Toronto has been beaten in the playoffs the past five years, and you know each team has a rich history in the NHL, but the Maple Leafs haven't won a cup since 1967. The Leafs have 13 championships to their credit. That's second only to the Montreal Canadiens, who have 24. As you know, the Lightning have three banners hanging above the ice at Amelie Arena. Their first cup, of course, following the 2003-2004 season. Then the past two seasons, they have gone back to back. The last time the Bolts faced elimination in the playoffs was last year against the New York Islanders in the Stanley Cup semifinals. They won a game seven and, of course, went on to hoist the cup. With the win tonight, the Bolts can force game seven Saturday night in Toronto. Well, joining us now, we are lucky to have former Tampa Bay Lightning Center Brian Bradley here to shed some insight on what he thinks is going to happen and what could be crazy night uh, game seven at Amelie Arena. Brian, thanks for taking the time. Now, there is a long list as a former player, you know, of things you have to do to win any hockey game, much less a playoff game. If there's one thing on that list you have to circle, what, what might that be? Well, I think they just have to play the way they have in the previous games and not take stupid penalties. I mean, that's been a factor. I mean, when we went to Toronto, uh, we were up 2-0 uh, after the first period. It was a great road uh, game. Uh, you know, in control of the game, then we started taking undisciplined, bad penalties and let Toronto back in the game. So it's going to be a factor tonight, but I like their chances. The players look good in the morning skate, and I think they're ready to go and force a game seven Saturday night in Toronto. Head coach John Cooper said today that special teams, he's happy with the way their power play is going and how their penalty kill. He just says it's the timing of penalties that's hurt them the most. Well, yeah, of course. But look at we were up 2 nothing. I'm in control of the game. We took too many men on the ice two times. Interference calls twice, four or five bad penalties. Gave Toronto a power play. Tavares scored, got the crowd involved, and then we were scrambling from there. I mean, no, we have to cut that out. If we can play five on, ho five, on five hockey, not take stupid penalties, we will win this game tonight. The Maple Leafs have scored six goals total in the last two third periods, three in game four and three in game five. How crucial is it going to be for Tampa Bay, especially if they get the lead, to shut the door in the third period? Well, we did that here in game four, so we played a solid game. We're up 5 nothing, but I, I mean, you know what, Kevin, tonight's a, the X factor we talked about before is going to be Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky hasn't played like he has when we won two Stanley Cup, so I need Va Andre Vasilevsky to come out. Be, be the champion he is and you know be the best goalie not only tonight but in game seven Saturday night and we win four games of three. Who do you think uh, a player on the puck maybe in the power play or in the penalty kill might be one to watch tonight on game six for the Bolts? You know I got two players tonight that I feel really confident that are going to come through. I got Kucherov potentially maybe getting three goals but I think Brayden Point he's right. going to have a breakout game tonight. I'm expecting Brayden Point to come out. He's only got a goal and assist right now in five games but I'm expecting Brain Point to come out with maybe have a two goals, two assists game and you know what, close the door and let's go back to Toronto and see what happens in Game 7. Buck Knight in the playoffs, nothing beats it. Brian, thank you for your time. Enjoy Game 6. You betcha, Kevin. Go Bolts. All right. Go Bolts. Brian Bradley, who played center for Tampa Bay from 1992 to 98. He's expecting what we're expecting. Pretty good show tonight at Amelie Arena, and Braden Point was the best scoring player in the playoffs the last two seasons as well. Well, you may have heard of catching a lightning in a bottle, but what about catching lightning in a beer? That's what they're doing at Cigar City Brewing. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has more on the new championship taste. Well, Cigar City has been a winning brewery for years, while well, the Lightning have obviously been a winning hockey team for years. So they thought, why not join forces? And that's when they struck up High Voltage IPA. Brewing a Lightning-themed beer isn't only an honor for the employees of Cigar City, it's a big responsibility. It's been a couple years in the making. Um, obviously, we're all big Bolts fans over here, especially, you know, two Stanley Cup wins, going for that 3 P. Amanda and Michael say it all starts in the lab, trying to come up with a flavor that scores a goal with your taste buds. Cantaloupe, soft strawberry, a little bit of that stone fruit, kind of evocative of the lightning, just being so smooth on the ice. It's also smooth on the palate. Once they had that winning formula, the next step was coming up with the perfect name. The name came from actually someone on the uh, the Lightning Camps team. Um, if you look at the packaging here, we have the downtown Tampa cityscape on there, and that's something that you know anybody local is going to be instantly uh, recognizing. And if you're not sure what's in the can or what the liquid is, you're going to reach for it because you're a Bolts fan and you love hockey. High Voltage IPA was officially released in January and can be purchased at the brewery, local stores, and of course, 
Amelie Arena. Going to a game and being able to order a high voltage, being like, hey, I was actually a part of bringing this into fruition. It's really a cool, cool experience. Typically served in a glass, Cigar City would love to see it poured into something a little bit shinier. So I think nothing better than actually putting high voltage in the cup and serving it up. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Other than sports, why does Robert get all the awesome assignments? Just ahead, we're taking a final look at the atmosphere here at Amelie Arena as the quest for the cup continues. Stick around.